a new crisis for Iraq's battered economy. A steep fall in the dollar-dinar exchange rate that's made much-needed imports more expensive and brought people out onto the streets. The average earner, the daily wage worker, is now aiming to earn 10,000 to 15,000 dinar a day, which used to be enough to last them a day. But now it's only enough to get through half a day. It started in November after the Iraqi currency nosedived against the greenback following tighter controls by the New York Federal Reserve on international dollar transactions by commercial Iraqi banks. The move was meant to prevent dollar smuggling to neighboring Iran, which is under strict U.S. sanctions. But officials say this also created dollar shortages across Iraq as demand outstripped supply and accelerated the dinar's descent. It's come at a time when Iraq was emerging from a deep recession caused by COVID-19 and a plunge in oil prices in 2020. People are hungry, people are tired, people are destroyed. The economic situation is difficult. Youths are unemployed. We set off for work with the hopes of earning 5,000 dinars and we either make it or we don't. So what are we supposed to do? Families are struggling, everyone is suffering 20 years of theft and all these billions and all these so-called budgets. And what are we left with today? The dollar. Iraq's government has now launched a crackdown on cross-border smuggling and also changed the central bank governor after a failure to control the decline. The protesters say it's not enough and they will not go home until the price of essential commodities are reduced. Shoaib Hassan, TRT World.